Six-year-old Herman and Jenner, a seventh grader in Washington State, surprised her classmates. While recovering from surgery, she came up with an idea to help others. Elisa Jaffe has the story. Oh, there's that girl at the hour. Hi, honey. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Twelve-year-old Cassidy Huff is savvy beyond her years with a big surprise of her small sleeve. I'm excited. Very excited. The seventh grader's surprise is so impressive, she coordinated a school assembly to share it. Cassidy raised $6,000 to buy iPads and voice recognition apps for an entire special education class at Sylvester Middle School in Burien. They think we're getting two iPads instead of eight. So, we're trying to keep this on the down low until I actually get up there. Every day, Cassidy tutors special ed students for one period. Many of the students don't speak. Can you say hi? Cassidy herself has had her share of struggles, being born with a rare dwarfism syndrome. I'm blind out of my right eye, I'm deaf out of my left ear, and um, my right side is three and, a half, three and a half inches smaller. But don't call her disabled. Differently abled is how she sees herself. Cassidy just underwent her 33rd spinal surgery, but instead of moping around feeling sorry for herself, she decided to help others. I know someone always has it worse than I do. That's why she wanted to buy iPads for the kids with autism and Down syndrome. Students who rely on pictures instead of words will now have a portable device to help them communicate. It was my idea, but it was your generosity that got us here. You guys are going to change people's lives. I cannot believe that um, a seventh grader just has the compassion that she has and the understanding of what these kids need. And to be able to pick out the one thing that would be the most important for these kids. Cassidy might be small in stature, but today the selfless seventh grader urged others to make a difference, no matter how small. I'm proud to be a Tomcat. Wow. Thank you, Lisa, for that story. That is amazing that she has that kind of compassion at such a young age. I mean, Patrick, you were even saying, like, how young is she? It's just a seventh grade. Close my mind. Yeah. Just to hear her speak. She, mm -hmm. she, she just... Ridiculously me, articulate. A seventh grader. Yeah. But did you hear what they've said that she's, I mean, everything they talk about, she, what she's oh, been through? Mm -hmm. And that she's like, no, I mean, some guys out there has it far worse yeah. than I do. Yeah. I like that she called herself differently challenged. Yes. And, and that's beautiful. I mean, she's that's great. a good perspective. That's the thing. That's what's so great about this story and refreshing is just her perspective mm. on the world in itself. And it's like you don't. You don't feel bad for her at all. She doesn't give you that. She, you just feel proud of her of everything she's done. It's amazing. just a great case. She's, she's continuing to help continue others. To do so it. kudos wow. to her. Yes, mm. amazing. And we want to wish a marvelous Monday to our Facebook friend of the day. It's Faye McCullough. She's uh, our Facebook friend for Monday. And like us today, you might end up being featured on.